Hey guys, if you are new to the Sonos Roam speaker, a very quick introduction. This is a Sonos Roam Bluetooth speaker. It also acts as a Wi-Fi speaker, but Bluetooth functionality. The bigger brother, the Sonos Move, is a little bit older, but this guy has a cool trick up its sleeve. And that is hand off as well as acting as a Bluetooth gateway, which Sonos did not advertise about. If you are interested, stay tuned and let's dive into this today. So the Sonos Roam is capable of acting as a Bluetooth gateway. Like all my videos, I try to give you the upfront summary so you don't have to stay on for the whole video and uh, watch all 20 minutes of this. Very quickly, what Bluetooth Gateway does, and this is a term that I'm trying to coin myself, it is not something that Sonos is advertising. Basically, this acts as a Bluetooth device that you can actually play to, right? You can use Android, you can use iPhone, you can use any form of MP3 player or whatever you have that cuts out a Bluetooth audio signal, send it to the Sonos Roam, and you can then pass that signal and group it to any Sonos speaker that you have in the house so that you can play throughout the whole house. Now, if you have some time to stay on through the whole video, I'll talk a little bit more about that feature as well as the Sonos handoff and the limitations of Sonos Bluetooth implementation in the Sonos Roam. And since you're still staying around, very quickly, let me give you a demonstration of that Bluetooth gateway. So firstly, if you look at the Sonos speaker here, you will see a Sonos uh, logo and there's a white LED light on top. This means that it is connected as a Wi-Fi speaker. So how do you connect this as a Bluetooth speaker? Go to the rear of the speaker. There's a button there. You press and hold until you hear the second chime and you let go like this. And you'll see that the front is blinking blue, meaning to say it's trying to get a Bluetooth connection. I've already paired this. So because now it is being paired with my phone, you will see that the LED light has turned blue. So I can load up any app within my phone and you'll be able to actually play the sounds that is coming up from here. So for example, uh, voice memo. Voice memo, usually you won't be casting via AirPlay or there's no Spotify connect to play a voice memo, but let's try this here. Ignore the soundtrack. I was recording some renovation sound that is coming from my neighbor and it is really irritating now. Well, it's okay. I did my renovation before. Okay, let's stop it. Oh, God, that raised my blood pressure. Anyway, the point is that you can actually send any sounds that is coming from your phone to the Sonos Room via Bluetooth connection. Now, what the Bluetooth connection does not allow you to do is to pair in a second Sonos Room for stereo. Bluetooth not supported. Not today, maybe something that Sonos can work on for a future release. And the handoff feature, you can't actually hand off. But what you can do, and this is the trick that I'm going to teach you about, right? Is I'm, I'm going to play something a little bit more pleasant. Maybe let me load up uh, um, Spotify, maybe. Okay, so I've loaded up Spotify. Now, bear in mind, this Spotify is not actually playing via Spotify Connect. This is a Bluetooth connection that is coming from the phone to the, to the Sonos Roam, okay? What you can do here, okay? If you go to Sonos S2 app, okay? You will notice this, right? It says that there is a Bluetooth connection. Now, on this Bluetooth connection screen, on this screen that the Sonos Roam is playing, you can actually group them up. So this is the screen that you'll see, okay? You can select, let me try to select the Sonos app. So remember, the song is playing via Bluetooth. And now I'm going to click. The sound is now playing through my whole room. With this as the Bluetooth gateway. I'm going to reduce the volume a little bit. Okay, so what I have just done is to play something over Bluetooth and then have the sound cast to my Sonos app so that it's playing throughout my whole room. I can cast it to even more rooms if I choose to, my M, and even the other Sonos room, okay? 
so that everything is playing right this is blue led and this is white led so the blue led is the one that is receiving the bluetooth sound source it's casting to the whole sonos net and this sonos room which is on wi-fi is also playing the sound in perfect zero latency zero lag no delays across the room how cool is that so that's why i say this 169 dollars that you're spending on a sonos room is probably going to be the best bluetooth gateway that you can find so not only it acts as a bluetooth gateway to enable bluetooth for the whole sonos setup that you have it actually acts as a speaker as well and you can actually stop the song by pressing the stop the play pause button on any of the connected grouped speakers in your house how cool is that so that's the bluetooth gateway but when you're using bluetooth gateway there are some limitations as well and i'll tell you you cannot actually use stereo pair in bluetooth if you have set this up as a stereo pair in your sonos wi-fi network the moment you connect one of them to bluetooth it will break the stereo pair and you have to then repair them as stereo in the wi-fi mode again and bear in mind that you know when you're out of the house when you're using bluetooth you can't actually use the sonos s2 app because it requires a wi-fi connection to be able to stream the songs but one thing and one thing that sonos has done to improve the bluetooth implementation over the last sonos move which is also a bluetooth speaker is that it actually allows Bluetooth and Wi-Fi at the same time. And on top of that, the auto true play function actually works via Bluetooth as well. So if you are outside the house, if you are not using the Sonos S2 app, which you can't use outside the house, you're using Spotify, you're using your voice recorder, YouTube, anything, right? And you're connecting to the Sonos Roam using Bluetooth, the auto true play will also kick in to automatically adjust the sound according to its placement and surrounding. On the previous Sonos Move, it wasn't able to do that. But they're going to be releasing that feature of auto true play over Bluetooth for the Sonos Move as well. So Sonos Move users, those of you who own a Sonos Move, rest assured that feature is coming to you. So one of the features that Sonos has advertised with the Sonos Roam related to the Bluetooth functionality somehow is the audio handoff. So what audio handoff does, it's hard to describe to you, but let me just explain with a very quick demo. I'm going to play a song on my Sonos Arc right here. Okay, so if you can hear the Sonos Arc is actually playing a song right now. So all I need to do is to take the Sonos Roam, go close up to it, hold on to the pause play button on the top hear the third chime release and the song will transfer over let me do a quick demo so there you go i have grabbed the song from the sonos app to the sonos room so in theory what this means is that i'm able to take this song all the way out of the house and i will be able to listen to it but one slight problem the only way that this was going to work is that you are playing a song via the sonos s2 app which means to say the arc is playing on wi-fi when you transfer the sound over it's actually on wi-fi okay regardless of whether this is bluetooth capable or not it is on wi-fi so technically when you take this speaker out of the house out of wi-fi range that song will break it may play to the end of the song because it has buffered the song down but it will not know what song to play next because there is no direct connectivity right it will then depend on your bluetooth connectivity which means to say your phone becomes the host okay your phone is the one that is controlling but when you're outside the house you cannot run the s2 app remember that so there is a slight um i would say not as advertised feature right they're advertising this that you can take and you can oh actually they said roam maybe they only meant roam within the house roam where there's wi-fi connection right and not so much roam outside maybe 10 miles away no so to that end actually it is not too bad so it's playing here 
I can cast it to my solo arc just by bringing it up close. There you go. Now it's not playing on this anymore. It is playing on the Sonos arc. So that is how the Sonos handoff works. It is not working on Bluetooth. It does not work with Bluetooth. So don't imagine that you can play something on Bluetooth. Let's say, okay, so look at this Sonos room. This is with the blue LED light now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this. And this is my Sonos room that is connected via Bluetooth. I'll go to my Spotify. So this is the Sonos Room playing over Bluetooth. The song is playing. Let's try the hand on. See, it doesn't work because the host is on the phone and this is not the S2 app. And without the S2 app, the Sonos app doesn't know what you're playing. There is no handoff there. But that's it. The group function is still available. You still can group. So earlier, the demonstration, I have done the demo via the group function on the S2 app. So again, a very quick demo of the feature of interest today, which is the audio gateway, the Bluetooth gateway, sorry. So Bluetooth gateway is not something that Sonos has advertised, but I think this is probably the coolest feature of the Sonos room. One more time, okay? This blue LED playing via Bluetooth. I've shown you how to do it via the S2 app. You can do it the traditional method. Go up to the Sonos app. Press and hold on the play button. And the song is transferred to the Sonos app. So I hope you found today's episode interesting and I really love this feature. I wonder why Sonos did not advertise it. But if you are happy with that, do consider subscribing to this channel. If I've brought you value, do consider dropping me some coffee money on my Patreon account. Now, I have not advertised my Patreon account for quite a while already. There are many patrons who are on my Patreon site who have been supporting me quietly over the past few months. And I thank you all for that. I really, really value any form of contribution. So for those of you who are new and have found value in my channel or have gotten some help from me in deciding whether to buy the Sonos Room or not buy the Sonos Room, all you could do is to head over to my Patreon account. I will leave the link in the video description below or you can scan this particular QR here. Now, scanning this QR will bring you to a Patreon landing page where you can then make a small donation to me as part of my coffee fund. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Another way to help me out is to link this video to as many Sonos fans as you know, because I think this particular feature is an underrated, undersold, unadvertised feature of the Sonos Room. I'll see you in my next video.